I'm still yet to polish the wood. Do you think the dual mass flywheel might have gone? Can you see how much my leg is vibrating? Right, after a successful Castle Coombe race event in the MR2, we have returned to try and get this E46, which has been an absolute bane of my life for the past couple of weeks. We're going to try and get it sorted. We're going to try and get it driving tonight. We should be ready. The brake line has been fixed. We should be able to drive the car tonight. See if it misfires. See if there's any cobwebs stuck around the map or whatever. Uh, I'm so done today. I've had a I've had a crap day. A bit stressed. Yeah, so I'm already in a bit of a mangy mood, which is always a recipe for disaster when I'm coming up here to work on a car, especially one as pleasant to work on as this 330. But let's get started. It may end up being a pleasurable evening if we can get it off the ramp get it driving i'm drifting in t minus four days in scotland in this car and i've not even driven it yet so would kind of like to drive it tonight if we can yeah so it's half past six we'll have a couple of hours on it and hopefully get it to move out of the shed yeah let's do it all right here she is then the the bastard car so I've played the brakes, I mean, I overdid it slightly a little bit, but I wanted to make sure there was no air in this new line. Mr S13 man's put the brake line on, so thank you very much for that. I'm going to help him set his car up later on um, as, a, as a payback kind of thing. But it's, it's nearly ready just to bolt wheels on and drive, but I need to find some, some wheels for it. I've got these ones to put on it for now, but we need some for Driftland. And there's been quite a few lads up here who have had E46s as drift cars who have since sold them and apparently if we go next door into the secret shed let's say if we go into the secret shed we might find some treats and i've not had a look yet so i thought it'd be fun for us to go together and if you're wondering what's what's on the tunes it's ed's ed's party that's why he's got his party pants on he's having a party so uh yeah let's grab a look from tires yeah find these wheels Oh, go on then. I've not been in here before, so. Sesame. Wow. So all on the left is two two five forty five seventeen. Okay, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Actually, why are they all orange? Uh, Paul painted them orange. Fucking hell. So you got four four orange boys. Yeah. You got two more BMWs under there. So that's six. Yeah, these are Beamer as well. Two are these sixteens. Are they seventeens? Are they? Mm, we don't want. They're to. the same as what's on the front. Aren't they? Oh, they're eighteens at the back. Are they MV twos? Mate, MV2s. These, these used to be quite a, a legendary wheel back in the no, day. Look at them. Yeah, not anymore. Alright, so we've definitely got enough tyres then. I don't have to worry about tyres, do I? That's cool. I'll just chuck the orange bastards on for now that are in there. I'll come back to it. Black first. <laughs> nah, we'll just send it. It's an ugly bastard. It's an ugly duckling, isn't it? So. Okay, let's get this thing out of here then. So, there's a bit of tidying up to do inside, a little bit of odds and sods. We need to swap the batteries, put the battery tie on uh, with the dead weight and yeah I'm not going to put the front coilovers on it yet because obviously I've got front ones of these. I'm just going to see if it drives first and see what else is broken. That's our challenge for today. Can we drive it? I'm sure we can. Oh, will this work? Will it go low enough? <laughs> um, so. It's ready to come off, I think. I'm going to try and drive it off. So, Mr. Nice London's going to roll the camera and we're going to see if she'll boo you. Looks like you've clicked you on the ramps. Looks like you've cleaned the lens or something. It's proper clear now. What, the camera? Yeah, yeah. Full auto mode, mate. I read the forums, they said, try it in full auto mode. I was like, I, I'm a camera expert. I don't need to, but anyway, it works. Yeah, it? no, it's so, looking good. Yeah. Time will tell. There's no more seats in it, so. Have you, have you got a bucket? I'll be alright, I think I'm a four. Fair enough. Oh. Oh. Great pedal was making some noises there. And I fucked out. Yeah, just a bit of momentum. Go on, all the way down. That's the ticket. Yep, loving your work. No, you can't, you're fine. 
Don't see any damage here. No, don't see any damage here. I'm looking at the make sure the ramps were still on. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely some damage there. Whoa! Absolutely love it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Doesn't matter. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Yep. Oh. Whoa! Oh, so fucking marky. It doesn't count unless you do a burnie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking VA. Go give yourself a bit of a run up. It don't count. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. <laughs> yes. That's what we like. I lost the clutch. Nice. Oh, no. He was running away on his own, man. Nice. I like that. I, I love. Lost the clutch. I absolutely love what you just did there. Where's my clutch gone? It fell out. It moved though. It did. It moved. Yeah, the clutch is gone. I was putting the clutch in it, it was still rolling forward. I was like, that's it's got a new clutch in it. What's happened to this? That's what you just did. What? We told you to stop, but. It's going well. Got better. Yeah. What's next? Clutch. Clutch. You don't believe me, the clutch is gone. He's gonna have a bad time here. Yeah. Is the clutch gone to come back? It's alright, innit? It's a little bit sticky into fifth, but it, when it warms up, it'll be alright. Not that we need fifth. Brake's working. Yeah, man. <laughs> handbrake's not connected, mate. Yeah, handbrake not work. Nah, handbrake's... Remember when I cut the cables off the subframe? I don't think that'll work either. Okay. I don't know, will it? Oh. Oh, it does work. It works. It's a bit it's misfiring, isn't it? Yeah, it's misfiring. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. What a machine. Do you want to fetch it back in, lad? While you're there. It's my cardiac cat. Well, it works. So I've got a misfire to sort, I've got a seat to put in it. Park it over here for me, chap. Give me a flash of the headlights. Oh, <laughs> she's ready. She's drifting in four days. No problem. Right, what have we learnt then from that little run? Well, it started misfiring and it stinks of, um, of burning, really, like burning oil. Now, the car's been sat for a while, it has got oil in it. But you know, it's got a bit of. We saw, I don't know if I showed you on camera when I was under it uh, previously, but we have got a bit of an oil leak, so it might have just been that burning away. I've also, when I was attacking the stud that was in that exhaust manifold, I spent a long time with a lot of um, lubrication for the drill bit, just trying to get that out so I could have squirted it all over. So it might just be that. Uh, the cobwebs are still there, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to have to do some work on uh, getting rid of the cobwebs and have to evict the spiders. Um, this is my favourite one, it's, it's all the way under the grill and then obviously there's a lot of shit here as well. I don't know how this happened, obviously it must have caught when we were coming off. No respect that man. Right, the wheelbarrow girls here. Look at this, look at this on the floor first. Yeah. See that? Look, look at this. Any thoughts? Have you got this driving? Have we got this driving? Have we got this driving? The Charlotte, look at this. Look what they did. Look how they massacred my boy. What did you do to him? Well, I was taking it off of the ramp and they said, yeah, it's fine, keep coming. And then I heard this crunch and I thought it was nothing. And then it looked like that. This is a genuine SE, this Charlotte. It's got genuine wood grain. It had these lovely side skirts with the, with the little flare in the middle, I can mean, see a it. Rivet, a rivet will fix this rival. Right uh, Charlotte, it's bent to fuck. Yeah, you stick a rivet on there somewhere. Yeah. The I see you've done this before. Like a million dollars. Right, battery's in. Got a bit of gunk in here still, don't worry about that. Bit of shit on the back seats, but holy hell have I been hoovering it. 
I've never hoovered a car as much in my life. I know it still looks absolutely minging, right? But, it, well, come on, it looks a bit less minging than what it did. I'm still yet to polish the wood. That's coming, I'm gonna polish my wood just very shortly. I've hoovered the engine bay and got most of the uh, most of the cobwebs out. No spiders yet, so I don't know where they're hiding. The car was parked outside without an air filter on it for a while, so I did wonder if any of them would, uh, would call through. Now, I wonder if this is ripped, because this was a common thing on the E36s. This intake hose would rip, which would make it misfire when it was a bit warmer. Um, yeah, you've already seen the dodgy hydro. We tested it worked. I mean, obviously it's not really something I'll be, be using. I might give it a go for the crack. Never never used a hydro before when I've drifted. Um, but, you know, I might I might pull it now and again and you know give it a quick pull. Uh, who knows? I've got a new arc belt for it. I've got new spark plugs coming for it. I've got a new fuel filter coming for it. Um, before I leave today, I'm going to plug my code reader in and see if it comes up with any codes. Because obviously we know it's got that misfire when it gets warm. But I'm pretty chuffed with that. It drove. Obviously now I just need to get a seat in it, which I don't. Th I was planning to rob the one out of the M3, but I might just put one of the red SPGs in uh, that were for the Integra. But um, be quite the contrast, a big red SPG. But one of them is slightly more minging than the other, so I'll put that one in as obviously I don't want to put a too nice seat. And my hips, my hips don't lie, I'm a bit wide for an SPG, but it should be all right. Obviously we've got no harness bar either, which is a bit dangerous. Yeah, boy. Nice contrast. Right, so last job done. Let's get the code reader plugged in. Let's see if we can get any codes off of it. System two lean. Misfire detected with low fuel. Oh, we've got a few problems. Oh, it's really misfiring now. Look at the engine's rumbling. Well, tell you what, let's go for a lucky dip. We'll clear the codes, and then we'll see what comes back. Oh, it's gone. Is it still misfiring? What the fuck? Okay, so it was misfiring. All I've done is cleared the codes, and now it stops misfiring. I don't understand. Alright, it started misfiring again. So, has it got a new diagnostic code? Pending. So yeah, I've got a few codes there, look. Um, and now the misfire is probably going to come back. Yes, it has. Hmm. Yeah, she's not a happy girl. See if I see if this happens again where I clear the codes and the misfire goes. Ready? Gone. So the car's putting itself in some kind of limpy mode, and that's where the misfire's coming from. Interesting. Drifting in four days. Well, I'm just going to have to download those codes and see if I can figure it out on the old internets. Get on the doobly do and see if I can figure out what them codes are for. I say I've got plugs. Obviously, the fuel that's in it's been in it for at least two years, just chilling. Um, I need to give the math a clean because it's been exposed for ages. I've got some math cleaner. I've got a new belt for it. I've got a new fuel filter for it. Hopefully, that's enough. We've got some coil packs as well because you know they can go. But yeah, I've not got too long on this, but that's enough from today. We'll come back to it. Hopefully before drift land I'll do another video I'll let you know how I'm getting on see if I've sorted it all out but hey it drove so what more do you want Okay, just as well, about to say good night, God bless. Something real funk is happening. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah, you can like. It gets faster with revs, bro. You can like feel the flywheel through the clutch. Yeah. It's so strange. When the clutch is fully down. Is that hear that clunk? Yeah. Did you change the flywheel? No flywheel change. Not the flywheel. Do you think the dual mass flywheel might have gone? 
can you see how much my leg is vibrating? I'll, I'll continue this in my own time, chaps. You just, you just go with a happy notion that it was driving earlier, and I'll deal with all the pain in the meantime, and then hopefully bring you a happy video at the end of it. All right. Thanks. Goodbye. Thanks, Patreons. Yep. Romeo done.